So one of my real talkers brought to my attention um, about dating coach Derek Jackson, who I actually highly respected. And then on my YouTube feed, this pops up. So let's take a look, ladies and gents. Hello, good evening, happy Saturday. How's everyone today? I want you to scroll down. One, two, three, four. Let's watch this. Break. Your body with so many things, but let's be honest, One it's kind of gross. That's Let's put the wall. 
wind down for a second because at times like this, we need to take a shot of the olive leaf extract because the olive leaf boosts our immune system. And it Technical difficulties. Hold on. Guys, give me one second. We didn't know that the sound wasn't playing. Give me one second. Let's get, let's, let's roll this back. Well, we go get it. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Put the speaker to my mic. How about that? Oops. Can we bring the speaker to my mic so they can hear? Instead of us uploading it. You remember how we did it in Patreon? Give me one second, guys. We're trying to get this sound. Uh, nah, 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 huh? All right, give us one second. He's looking at the file again. We gotta get back in. Is it okay if I just put the speaker by the uh, microphone shack? Hey, look, there's a video of him asking her something. Y'all better wait till the end of this video because y'all gonna hear it. I'm gonna play it right now. And like the more like we started texting and the more we start like he was making efforts to like see me again, I kind of felt like, okay. In future, let me go ahead and go let y'all Separated you from his wife is what he tells you. That's what he tells me, and I have, like, I have everything in text, and he's like, I'm a single mom, and I was like, hello, mom, said, yeah, you know, co-parenting, this and that, so I was like, I don't know who's breathing like that, it's then, not like, me. The more, like, we started texting, and the more we start, like, he was making efforts to, like, see me again, I kind of felt like, okay, maybe he is, you know, telling her the truth. Okay, so was the wife really with her family when you guys were, like, spending time together in, um... Miami for Fourth of July weekend and for his birthday at his house. So my thought, my thought is that she probably went out there just to kind of like go to because she has, I, I believe she has family in Colorado. So I don't know if it was a permanent thing or he just lied about it and said that oh she went to Colorado to move with the kids out there and we're just doing the whole care culture and thing. But my thought is I feel like she went there just as a like vacation thing to spend with her family, but she was coming back. That's what it seemed like. Mm. So when you were at the house and y'all had sex, were there any pictures of them in the house and stuff? She she still had all her stuff there, and I was, they, like I seen boxes packed up, so I was assuming like maybe she's gonna you know pack her stuff or whatever. So she still had stuff in her back the bathroom. She had her, like all her feminine products, all her like her wigs were still there, her clothes were still there, but like there was also like packing boxes. Hmm. I'm not sure what the packing boxes were. I wasn't really like paying attention, but I was. I was assuming, like, oh, maybe she's gonna, she's gonna get the rest of her stuff because it's a different state. You know, it's not a way to get all your stuff in, from one state to another, especially on the West Coast. Okay, so so you what know? so what happens? Okay, so you you guys have sex in Miami. Um, he's still married. And this is not to you because you're not married. He is. You understand? Right. So he's still married. This is just recently last 4th of July, okay. his birthday. What what happened after that? Tell me, because I, I was getting my son. What happened, girl? I, 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 my mouth is just wide open right you're, now. You're, you're, talking about, you're talking about Miami? I'm talking about, like you said, for his birthday, he asked you if y'all could spend time for his birthday, oh, okay. and then y'all had sex. Yes. Right, right. So he had asked me if um, there was a way that we can see each other again. And so I was like, oh, okay, you know, that would be nice. He's like, whether it's coming out there or you want to come out there and I was like eh, Orlando's boring let me you know go out of town and go to Atlanta so he's like perfect he um you know allows me to stay at his place so we you know I stay there for the whole weekend and that's his birthday weekend so you know I'm thinking like okay maybe it's true his wife and him are separated or whatever I don't know what the case was but um we spent I spent his birthday with him with his close friends you know his best friends were there my best friends were there so we were all just hanging out that whole entire weekend, you know. So after that, um, you know, we went our separate ways. I went back home. We continued to text, you know, just here and there. Um, until, like, I'm going to say the end of July, um, he was texting me and he was like, hey, I'm going to have to... Um, I'm gonna have to hit you up back on on Snapchat because um, you know she's coming down here to bring the kids, but then you know she might stay at the house. So then I was like, okay, huh. like right. So I was like, that's not 
years because if you're done with so many years it's done so I don't understand why she's you know coming back to the house to stay I mean I understand like at any point a woman can go back to her her husband at any point you know I understood but it's just the fact that you know expecting it from him you know Mr. Relationship Guru or whatever he is you would I wouldn't expect him to you know be that um I guess just organized with his whole separation or whatever so um, so he's like, oh, I'm going to continue to write you on Snapchat. So at that point, that was a red flag for me. Like, okay, he's hiding something. Like, what What more to it? And so um, I'm reaching out to him on Snapchat. He's telling me, and I'm trying to get some time. I was like, so is this something that you guys are, a phase that you guys are going through? Or what's going on? He's like, emotionally, I'm not, um, we're, I, I'm not going to get back together with her. You know, it's so much hurt, so much this and that. You know, he's explaining. And I was like, so you guys are not getting back together or whatever. And he's just, like, writing me a whole bunch of things. He deleted his um, Snapchat, so I don't have that portion of the of the text or whatever. Okay. Um, so he's telling me, like, oh, um, I, I I don't plan on being with her. You know, this is what we've already tried, you know, variety of various times or whatever the case is, this and that. He explains how he cheated on her without her knowing in the past. Blah, blah, blah. Wait a minute. He he said he told you he cheated on his wife without her knowing. Yeah, he's like, and, I, and he's like, I've done stuff in the past. You know, she hurt me. I hurt her. You know, I cheated on her, and even to the day she doesn't know. I was like, hmm, that's what he said. And um, so I was like, okay, so do you guys like plan on getting back together? He's like, yeah. He's like, I like it, she just hurt me to the point where like I. I proposed to her in front of her family and this and that and like kind of putting it on her of, of the whole um I guess separation he was, he was putting it all on her of course and so I was like hmm okay so after that conversation finishes literally within the next few days this man posts I mean he blocked me like literally maybe I would, I would say probably three days from when, when he just wrote me that um he blocked me on all social media I'm talking about Facebook um, Instagram, he like blocked me and he even blocked, blocked my best friend. So I was like, this is kind of odd. Like, why is he blocking me for? I don't know if, you know, something transpired in the household that she found out something. I don't know what happened, but he ended up blocking me. And I was like, okay, let me find out if I can like go to my friend's Instagram and see if he, you know, maybe deleted his account or whatever. But, you know, it, it showed that he blocked me. Um, and then that's when he posted, I don't know if you like, so, if you're normally on Derek's page, he never, ever posts his wife. Never. 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 So, <laughs> mind you, this is, this, after this whole thing happened, all of a sudden he posts his wife. <laughs> after so many years of not showing her, you know, talk about, oh, it's, it's something about her last name is Jackson. So, he posts his wife and, you know, everybody, like, I'm getting, like, no, I'm getting upset because I was like, what's going on? Because, like, Clearly, something transpired that, like, he just blocked me out of nowhere, and then now he's posting his wife. But many years that he had that nobody knew about, and now you're posting her out of nowhere. So I don't know what trans- transpired in the household, but basically, he just left me for dead without even explaining what's going on, you know, or whatever the case is, and just goes back to his wife, which is okay. It's just like the way he went about it was not okay. You expect it better from someone who speaks such highly about women. That's that's my issue is that I don't, like, I can deal with things like that, you know? But but coming from somebody who, you know, you expect knows better to deal in a situation like that, that, that's what got me. And I was like, okay, all right, bet. So, so how did you guys, like, get to know each other? Like, because you said you guys had known each other for 10 years, you and Derek. So... Yeah, so pretty much um, back in, like, Twitter days, like, the beginning of Twitter, when he wasn't really popping, like, somehow we followed each other or whatever. So we've been communicating since Twitter days. And he got my contact, and here and there, we would, like, hit each other up, like, flirt. Like, yeah, I even have a, bit, a video of him saying, like, oh, Candace, um, what kind of draws are you wearing? Like, stuff like that from 2016. But then I, I've known him since, like, 2009, I'm going to say. Like, I was acquainted with him since 2009. So he would DM um, you asking you what type of panties you would have on? Not even a DM. It's a whole video. You got the videos, girl? 
God, I need this stuff. Oh my God, do you know? <laughs> do you know? Like, I had some girls contact me. Uh, this was about maybe two men. Ago, and they had all the information, but they got scared of him. I don't know what happened. I'm, it, I'm not scared. Okay, I'm not. I mean, he ain't gonna do I'm shit, but still. But girl, like, I just. I'm not surprised at all. Now, describe what his bedroom looks like, just in case he tries to lie to his wife yeah, when she was. No, there's, there's no lying. There's no lying because there's a text message that he sends me a video of him chilling, like hanging out in his bedroom, and then there's a video of me, like, uh, uh, not a video, but it's like a little boomerang type shit where like he's exiting his room and it's the same scenery. So okay, what is his um, what does his living room look like when you walk in? Uh, when I walk in, uh, there's like a back, there's like a back towards the, the pool area. There's like a pool area you can see. It's like a whole, like open window concept. Okay. His, like, walking into from the entrance is like his bedroom and like another guest bedroom with his uh, office is like to the left side. And then to the right is where like the kitchen is. The, um, I guess the garage is to the right area where he has like a little gym or whatever. Mm. And then he has big open, like he has a pool, like pool in the back. Like I have like videos of me hanging out, not me personally, but like me taking boomerangs of his back pool area. And then there's a, a picture of my best friend and his best friend hanging out. Like I have those kind of things. <laughs> okay. Now, what was I going to ask you? Is he good in bed, Derek Jackson? <laughs> Well, I'm not going to lie. Yes, he is. Oh. Well, at least he got that down packed uh -oh. for the books. You're right. <laughs> okay, so he's good. Did you guys use protection? No. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Did, was there any, like, oral done on each other without protection? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> to you or to... to... Really a... Go ahead. It was weird. Not really on, on, like, me on him. It was more so him on me. And when I tried to, like, it was, like, weird. Like, he was, like... So he, so he went down on you without protection. Right. Yeah. Was he good at it? Yes, he was good at it. Okay, all right. Well, at least that's a plus. Okay. Um, can you send me those videos and pictures? I am so ready for you. You have no idea, girl. Like, I, I have been watching this motherfucker lie. There's another one I'm working on, too, but it's going to come in due time. But um on another person yeah it's fun for me because he even he even sent a preview like back in december mind you we dealt we with each other in january and july of last year so december he had made a video where he was talking about oh um some, one of my homegirls um asked me what should i do if i'm if i'm married if i'm mar technically married but separated should i you know enjoy my life he was like what i would say no he's like and not to say that you can't enjoy your life off, off the separation but but I just feel like um, in a marriage, mm -hmm. you have to, um, if you're separated, it has to be fully over. Like, he was talking his shit. And I was like, no, <laughs> the fuck he did not. I'm like, going to put that video me. in there. If you can send me that video, girl, I'm going to put that video. I'm going to put that video out. No, the fuck you didn't. So, I, I mean, the advice that he gives women is just so not realistic and how he condemns men as if he's, like, God's hero. <laughs> now, he seems like he's, like, a woman's hero in bed. But as far <laughs> as the actual character of a man, I know he likes that shit. Like, why don't you ever post your wife? You always sit in that car with the baby seat in the back. Never post to Joe baby why because he's been living he a double life for privacy yeah he tries to say it for privacy but that's not really the case like you can tell it's not at this point like it's not for privacy no it's for him to live a double life that's and the fact that he brought you into the house he probably did that to like you know impress you you know mm -hmm. and taking you to a hotel would have been too risky
So what do you think he did? Do you think he used you for some pussy or 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 what? What do you think he did? I have, like, honestly, I, I really can't pinpoint what it is because the whole time that we've known each other, it has been, like, fully respectful until, you know, that point where he was like, oh, I'm finally, like, single, I'm this and that. So, like, he never really crossed me when I met him previously, you know, like, when I hung out with him previously, he never crossed me like that or whatever. You know, he would just be like, damn, like, Ken is like, you know, you're fine. And, like, he'll just say things that then he would just, like, go about the prison. Like, he doesn't cross. But it was until, like, then July, on his, um, on 4th of July, that's when he was, like, living it up. So I don't know if he, like, kind of, maybe they were taking a small little break for whatever reason, and, like, he used that opportunity to kind of, like, okay, well, you know, technically I'm having issues and I'm separated or whatever they want to call it. So he used that opportunity to hit me up and whatever the case is from that. Okay, okay. Anything else you want to add before you send me over these receipts? No, and and that is that, like, I have put everything together because, like, I hate explaining the the whole thing. And that one, I put it in one Instagram that explains the whole thing, and it has, like, all the receipts in it. You put it out already? It's public? It's not in public. It's private. I have, like... Oh, thank God. Let me send this off, okay? And put it... Okay. He can report it. (laughs) Yeah, don't worry about that. He can't report me. But listen, you are god's angel right now you have no idea okay because i knew i knew that he was selling lies i knew that he was out here trying to pull a steve harvey and shit you know what i'm saying but uh, mm, mm. see there was a girl that came to me um two years ago and said that he forced her this was two years ago to have an abortion hmm oh she's a doctor um lived in california they went to school to I want to say that Steve Harvey is actually a good guy, I feel, and I feel like he's faithful to Marjorie. So I don't know what, what Tasha meant about um, Derek Jackson doing a Steve Harvey, because I think Steve Harvey is faithful to his wife, and I hope that is true. But it sounds like Derek Jackson is not faithful, and here are the receipts. And this is someone that I respected as like a dating coach, And if you look back on my timeline, I posted recently about um, these male dating coaches and how they are deceiving to women and and how you have to be careful because they're like, they're very single. They, They have never made a commitment in their life, yet they're making, they're giving women who are probably in a, in a bad place and they're giving advice. And they're giving it from the point of um, not even respecting women. And you can see Derek Jackson from these alleged um, alleged allegations that he is also taking advantage of women. So this is why I'm posting this picture and I'll give the credit to Tasha um, and her channel so that you guys can see where the source is. And... You know, this is what I've been doing. Like, I'm just cleaning up this little pool of dating coaches that don't mean women any well. They don't mean us any wellness. They don't mean us anything good. So, I mean, my channel is Real Talk Tina. I don't want to bring any negativity onto my channel. I do only want to expose the truth. And the purpose is, my purpose is to help women and to help women heal. So if there are men who are cheating on their wives, if there are dating coaches and men who are giving bad advice to women, if there are dating coaches that actually hate women and they're giving advice, um, then I have to expose them because that's the opposite of my purpose and what I want to do. I want to help women. So I just have to get all this this clutter out of the network of coaches and stuff because they're giving coaches and healers and um, consultants a bad name. So let's just continue this. I just had to say that. Yeah, they had them sleeping together on and off. And so she was like, yeah, he forced me to have an abortion. And 
I didn't understand why he did that, but then she goes on to say that she thinks it has something to do with his wife. But the way he pressured her, no woman should ever have to go through that. And her and her friends were ready. And then she, I think she got scared because of the sensitivity of the topic. But, um, but that's what she told me. She said that he is an asshole. Mm. Everything that he yes, says. Everything he explains is what he is. That's why he speaks as the best. Well, there it is. Well, there it is. Okay, go ahead and load them receipts up for me, girl. I got you. Thank you. Save my number. This is my personal number. Okay, I'm just going to send you that page because it'll have everything on there. Okay. I don't know if you want me to put it publicly. No, 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 no. Just send it to me private in DM. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Okay. (laughs) All right. Thank you so much. Don't y'all say don't put God in this. God is all truth, okay? And when this young lady called to tell all the truth so y'all wouldn't be wasting your money and be thinking he be knowing what he talking about, but he telling you, he literally telling you about the guys, the guys in which not to date because he's one of those sorry oh, motherfuckers. Goodness. You got to know one, and, or you got to be one in order to know one. You know what I'm saying? Or know one in order to be one. But I'm telling you, that was some damn mighty motherfucking why. But listen, real quick, so this video uh, uh, he sent to her, this was like, he was actually with his wife, I mean his wife, they were girlfriend and boyfriend at the time, okay, this was like, maybe, they were married in 2018, this video was sent to her in 2016, Uh, do you have that video? Okay, let's go ahead and play Mr. Derek. Little kid in a small town. Commercial break. Myself together. I do have an interview that I'm doing tonight. Um, and so that's 